Welcome to Sat Media. I'm Matt the Parable. And I'm Sylvia from Justin from Crawford on YouTube. So, Sylvia, we have an issue here where the resident in charge thinks his economic policies are wonderful. Oh, yeah. Do you think that's the case? Definitely not. I, I, I don't even think he belongs to be out here. He needs to be somewhere in a home. <laughs> <laughs> and he probably is in a home somewhere. Exactly. Let's take a look at this first slide. Biden's strongest first year track record of any recent president. We're ending 2021 with what one analyst described as the strongest first year economic track record of any president in the last 50 years. The president tweeted, adding, let's keep the progress going. On the same day, the Commerce Department released a dismal trade deficit report slamming that the gap between the cost of imported goods exceeded the value of exported at a record high. So lo and behold, guess what? The, the, the Commerce Department, part of the government, sends out data saying that Mr. Biden really isn't telling the truth. He lost some marbles. Yeah, I, I don't want to say he's lying, but let's say he's stretching it. You know, just like Stretch Armstrong to... <laughs> So there's another slide. Let's take a look at that. The November U.S. merchandise trade deficit surged to $97.8 billion, a new all-time record high. The deficit shattered expectations of $86 billion and is 17.5% higher than the prior month. This horrific data provides the U.S. economy is, or proves the U.S. Economy, economy is complete disaster. It has never been this week. The coronavirus pandemic has led to a new era of inflation and equality, economists warn, in which poor households bear the brunt of rising prices. That's because a bigger portion of their budget goes toward categories that have spiked in cost. Food is up 6.4% over the past year, while gasoline jumped a whopping 58%. They so, need help. They need help. Yeah. yeah. Anybody actually, uh, you know, they say poor. Right. But, but it's let's, let's be now. honest. Now, you know, there, there really is no middle class anymore. anymore. Right. So you have people who have an income, a budget, a food budget, right. doing stuff. And these, these increases are taking directly from their budget. Exactly. And now you have, of course, you know, if you're making a million, right. you know, you, you're not... Well, you're going to be affected, obviously, but not to the degree of what the middle and, you know, they're saying the poor. But I'm just saying those at middle class and lower. Yeah. And that's it's sad. It really is, especially you have a president that's denying what everybody is 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 experiencing at this point. Right. And, you know, he, he did the same thing with the uh, the supply chain when all the cargo in L.A. and other places was backed up and, you know, they denied that was happening. And even uh, his press secretary did the same. So, you know, this is where we are. It's just, it is a shame. Yeah, we're finding out about a lot of secrets. Yeah, I guess we are. Mm -hmm. And one of them is that Biden surely doesn't understand economic policy and what's happening. That's right. So please subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day, folks. Thank you.